Hello there and happy May the 4th! In this Star Wars Day we would like to celebrate by talking about a couple of marine species that inherited their peculiar names from various characters of the saga, thanks to the nerdy scientists who discovered them. Before we jump into hyperspace, subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date about our new videos. The first species we are going to describe is Pecolter gridoi. It is a fish of the family of the Lord Caridae, also known as Armor Catfish. It is an endemic species of the Rio Grupi drainage in Brazil. Usually about 78 mm long, it presents a reddish brown coloration for dark bands on the tail fin and small spines adorning the pectoral fins. Named after Gustavo Peckel, member of the Natural History Commission of London, it owed a specific epithet to its great similarity with Greedo, the Rodian Bounty Hunter appearing in episode 4 in New Hope, and hired by Jabba the Hutt to kill Han Solo. But, as we know, Han shot first. Han himself shared its name with another species. We are talking about an extinct trilobite from the family of the Deteriorastidae, who discovered in the current site of China. The generic name is a reference to the Han Dynasty, as well as the largest ethnic group in Asia. The specific epithet on the other end is actually quite ambiguous. It probably refers to the fact that this is the most recent fossil of this family ever found, so the word solo would mean the last of its family. However, rumor has it that it's due to a bet between Samuel Turbery, the discoverer, and his friends, who dare him to name his species after a Star Wars character. Lastly, the wise Jedi Master Yoda, not to one, but to two different species his name gives. The isopod Albunioni Yoda and the Akonguam Yoda Purpurale. The first is a crustacean of the family of the Bopiridae, spread in the northwest Pacific near Taiwan. The females of this species own long lateral extension of their heads, which remind of the long green ears of the character. It's the same feature which suggests the name of the second species. Found in the waters of the Atlantic Ocean, it belongs to the class of the Enteropneusta and the family of the Tocoratoridae, bright colored gelatinous animals that live in deep waters. Despite their pink coloring, the two appendages of this animal look just like the ears of the Jedi. Hmm, I wonder if they're able to use the force as well. Thank you for indulging us and watching the video. If you love Star Wars, leave a thumbs up and obviously subscribe to our channel. Until next time, may the force be with you.